guys, Simply Betty here again, coming at you today with a new project. I'm putting together my brand new tank and the new hardscape that I got from Rachel O'Leary and the new plants that I got from Liquid Creations that are pretty unusual and rare. So Rachel O'Leary put together a hardscape for me and I thought it looked good and she sent it to me and now I'm gonna put it back together in my tank. Um, I've never put together like the cool rocks and driftwood before. Wish me luck on that. I'll film it. Uh, after I put the hardscape in, I will put in my substrate and then plant all my new plants that I got in my last video. I'm excited, so here we go. Here's the tank outside. I'm armed with a hose, vinegar, and a razor blade. Don't mess with me. Yeah. Riley will hose it out really nicely. Thank you, Riley. Thank you. Good job. Oh, Riley, it's quite and cold. Brr. Splash, 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 splash. Okay, now I'll use some vinegar on the tank to get rid of some of, of that hard water. The vinegar is working pretty good on all the hard water stains. I just, I'm going to have to scrub it for a little bit. Now I'm going around and I'm scraping out some of the thicker calcium mineral deposits with a razor blade, which works really well. And I'm slowly going around the whole tank and getting rid of the heavy stuff. For my light on this tank, I'm trying a Phoenix 24-7 Planted Plus. I like how the brightness is controllable and that there is a built-in timer. It looks pretty sleek and nice too, and the max setting's nice and bright. I'm really pleased with my hardscape. I love the twisty manzanita and the seiryu stone. I practiced setting it up so I would know how I wanted it later. I decided I wanted to elevate it a little, so I cut up some plastic egg crate to give the hardscape a firm base under the substrate. I thought this would prevent things from sinking down if the substrate settled. Now I want to bank the substrate so it's elevated in the back. I think it looks pretty nice that way. To help cut back on the amount of bags of substrate I would need to buy, I bulked up the back a bit with gravel. Nylon stockings make a great way to neatly do this. Then I add the substrate. I'm using ADA Aquasoil. This is my first time using ADA Aquasoil, but I've heard that it's one of the best planted tank substrates that you can get. What also attracted me to it is the fact that it will help buffer the pH of my water down to like the 6.5 range, which is great for the wild betta species that will go in this tank. Then I maneuvered my hardscape into place until it was firmly seated and I liked how it looked. To prepare the tank for putting my plants in, I gently saturated the aqua soil with water. Now here comes the fun part, adding my plants. Some species I pulled from my existing tanks, but most of these plants were the ones I unboxed in my last video from Liquid Creations. Phoebe, did you eat a chunk of my Crypt Parva Mini when I wasn't looking? Did you? Did you eat a chunk of this when I wasn't looking? My Crypt Parva Mini? Because I, I had two big chunks and now I only have one chunk. Did you, did you just eat a chunk? Phoebe, I think you did. What do you think, guys? Did she do it? Does she look guilty to you? 
shame on you. Shame. Thanks for watching guys, I had fun making this tank and I hope it was fun to watch too. Is Phoebe the Chihuahua innocent or guilty of consuming rare aquatic plants? Let me know what your verdict is on my new Instagram and Facebook page. I have the links in the description.